welcome welcome back to a new video if you are an oldie but goldie come on in and get cozy you know how it is around here if you are new my name is louise pentland and i make videos about motherhood and lifestyle and i hope you like this new setup we've got it's a very very dark day outside so natural light is not my friend today um and i had a little bit of help from my tiny helper helping me sort my lighting out Turn it on. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get sorted. She is a very cute assistant. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about my 2020 intentions. Yes. Oh, yes, my love, I'm filming. Does you have any more phone spray? I don't know, Doctor. Come and say hello. Yes, I want to say hello to the camera. Hello, hello everybody. The camera. If you stay tuned till the end, there's a little segment from Doodles, isn't there? Yes. Probably the best segment of the whole video. Yes? Yes. Until then, then, let me film this. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love your makeup. Oh, thank you. I love you, face. Right, I wanted to kick off the year, kick off our first chatty video with uh, a bit of a talk about intentions. Now, I'm calling them intentions instead of New Year's resolutions or goals because I, every year, make New Year's resolutions and then by about March I've generally forgotten what they are so I thought maybe if I go in with intentions it's less pressure it's not so much the target and more of like a thing I would like to achieve it's it's the same thing <laughs> I know there's a few people that don't like the whole new year new me um situation that's absolutely fine I'm totally understand and respect if it's not your thing personally I really like that I'm the kind of woman that likes a Monday because I feel like it's a fresh start um, so and I also like a new month because it's a fresh start so a new month in a new year in a new decade it floats my boat and tickles my pickles so without further ado I will go through some of my intentions and if you watch till the end I've picked some of your um, intentions that you sent in and there's a little extra clip from doodaloo right number one more wearing my wardrobe my wardrobe is filled with all kinds of beautiful clothes but the problem i have is i wear the same things over and over like everybody does and there's certain things in there that just never get a look in so this is their year this is their time to shine i have got a white and gold sequined mini dress that i am going to wear in public on a red carpet this year i'm gonna do it i don't know when i don't know how but it's gonna happen and when it does those of you that watch this video, you'll know. You'll be like, hmm, well, unagi. Unagi's definitely not the right word, but I did this and I was like, yes, you know. If you know, you know. The next one's pretty simple, and that is more going out and getting out of the house. Because I work from home and because I really love my home, I spend a lot of time in it. And then sometimes I get to about five o'clock in the evening, I'm like, hmm. I've really not left the house today so even if it's just nipping out to the shops or just something really small I am going to be making an effort to go out more it's better for your mind um, it just feels good to like pop out and see other humans so that's what I'm gonna do number three is more creating I am a really creative soul um, I'm not saying that anything I create is that great but I do enjoy the process of making things in fact this whole thing started with a blog called beads buttons and a sprinkler glitter and I was documenting the stuff that I had made from my house like crap cushions and photo frames I just love doing it um, and the last few years I think having children and having all of this grow and having more to do I guess it's just kind of fallen to the wayside but over Christmas I started beading again I really like beading like little earrings and bracelets and whatnot and I really like painting furniture so I've got some furniture in the garage ready to paint and I've been being a bit more creative with my photos and putting them in photo books and stuff like that so um, I'm going to be talking more about this in a video later this month but I am so enjoying taking the time in the evening just to put my laptop down like I don't need to scroll endlessly through Facebook feeds to look at the holiday photos of someone that I sat on a university module with like a million years ago I would much rather be making something with my hands and having a chat with Liam and we've been having a few Netflix shows on in the background Messiah are you watching that it's good um it just feels really nice I feel very satisfied that's the word for it. it just gives me a great satisfaction so I'm going to be doing more of that in 2020 following on from that something else I want to do more of is look in secondhand shops and see what I can find to DIY and hack 
so I love finding little things um, secondhand in like charity shops or Facebook marketplace or vintage boutiques and either loving them for what they are or turning them into something else a really easy example, like honestly you're gonna have Chloe such a basic example, is I have been collecting cut glass glasses of all different heights and widths and I've been using them as candle holders and it looks so pretty. I saw it in a hotel called the Sanderson which is a very beautiful hotel. They do it there and I have done it for literally like under five pounds and it looks beautiful. I will, I've had it on my Insta stories actually, you might have seen it. Um, but I would like to do more of that and maybe look for some furniture that I can upcycle um see how creative i can get with things pretty basic one but more reading i write books and people send me books to read and i always feel really embarrassed because i never read them and the reason that i feel embarrassed about this oh, it sounds so stupid and i'm sure I'm sure lots of you feel the same way or are the same i'm a really slow reader like weirdly slow sometimes i have to read a page twice to kind of take it all in um, and so then when I'm like on book tours with like my author friends, like Paige Tune and Lindsay Kelt, they're like, oh, did you read such such? I read it this weekend. Oh, did you read this? And I'm like, no, I've read like 12 pages. Um, also reading makes me really sleepy because I associate it with like what I do before bed. So I'll start reading and it takes me ages. And But this year, I make more of an effort to try and read a bit more. Even if each night I'm just like, oh, I'll read just three more pages than I was going to. Um, that's the kind of level I'm talking. I'm never going to be one of these people that's on Goodreads and I've read like a hundred books in a year. I'll just be glad if I've read like, I don't actually say. I mean, how many books do you guys read a year? One of the things I talked about in my weekly Just Gone was to be more myself in videos. I talked about it a lot at the very beginning of the video, why I feel like I have been like retreating into my shell a bit and uh, maybe holding back and I'm going to try and not do that and try and just put myself forward um, and just be bold. I'm very excited about this one. I want to do more business building in 2020 and what I mean by that is to continue doing the things I'm doing now like I love making my videos and doing my Instagrams and all that kind of stuff but I really want to have some other meaty projects as well so that there's different revenue streams and I'm not reliant on one particular one too much because I always think you know YouTube could what happens if like they decide to stop YouTube I don't own the YouTube website so what would happen then so it's really good to have lots of irons in the fire and don't put your eggs in all one basket and all those sorts of phrases so I'm looking forward to building and expanding the business this year um if you would like a whole video on that I would really like to talk about it because one of my other intentions which kind of goes along with this is to talk more about money and finances I feel like over the last 10 years as I've built this business and as I've done some adulting like buying a house and you know hiring staff and all those sorts of things I've learned a thing or two about money definitely not an expert but I would just like to share what I've learned because I think it's interesting and hopefully it will help some of you Okay, my last two intentions on my list are my favourite ones and they are to spend more mini moments with the girls and to really be present in those little cherished moments that you have throughout the day. We do lots of lovely things like holidays and days out but I really want to cherish the small moments with them, playing with Pearl, playing with her toys or talking to Darcy, she's got so much to say about so many things now so I'm really, really just loving being a mum to them which I did last year as well but I just want to carry on that like carry on the warm fuzzies and my last one is I want to spend more time with my friends now that might not necessarily be in person because some of them live really far away or it's just not convenient because lots of us are really busy these days but just even if it's just dropping a text and being like hey thinking of you or sending just an emoji but anything just let them know that I'm here I feel like towards definitely the last half of last year I just didn't see people I was just so busy doing things and I was so focused on what I was doing that I feel like I lost touch and then I don't know if anybody else ever feels like this I started to feel like oh I, I can't message them now because they might be cross at me for not messaging them um, or they're annoyed at me or I started this like weird feeling slightly paranoid uh, that like people didn't want me to get in touch with them or they all hated me so getting rid of that get in the bin that can get right in the bin um, and so far so good I've actually booked a trip to centre parts with some of my uni girlfriends um, for um, spring which will be really nice and I really like to get over to Seattle to see Marie this year um, 
lots of things, lots of great plans. Um, so there we are, those are my intentions. I'm gonna share some of yours now. So as you can see, I had a lot of you um, send me your intentions. Well, there are a lot there. So I'll just pick two or three at random. Okay, we'll go to the top. Um, someone, oh, my friend Amy said, live for me more. I think that is a brilliant resolution. I would love to see us all live for ourselves a little bit more, a bit of self-care. Here's a good one. Annie has said, graduate, run a marathon and go interrailing. Interrailing sounds very interesting. My sister actually did that and she loved it. So um, I hope that you do do that in 2020. Lots and lots of people are saying get fit mentally and physically. It's interesting that lots of you are saying mentally as well because a few years ago it would have just been get fit and not include that. So that's really nice. I hope that we all do have really good health years, especially mental health years. Oh, Beth is, I become a mother of two in a few weeks, so getting into a good routine before and after. I hope that goes really well for you, Beth. In the comments, it'd be lovely if you said, good luck, Beth, with becoming a mum of two, because I know how scary that can be. It was me only two years ago. Gosh, that feels like such a long time ago that I was about to give birth to Pearl, but it's a scary time, and then it turns into a beautiful and brilliant time. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. We do have a little special guest appearance from Darcy, so I'll show you that now. Ew, it grows. You're putting spit in my hair. No, I'm not. Right. Ew, why don't I just put spit in my hair? I don't. <laughs> Lift you my did. hand and smooth yes, your she hair. Did. That is a mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you put spit on her hand. I did. I didn't put spit on my hand. That's what mothers do. You did. You're such a monkey. Do you think 2020 is going to be a good year? Yes. Why? Because we're going to Disney World and I've got a tidy on room and I've got some resolutions. <gasps> what are your resolutions? Um, I keep my room tidy. That's a great resolution. I go swimming more. Yeah? Well, we're going to go swimming tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. Do you like swimming? Yeah. What do you like about swimming? Um, you get to swim. Yeah. And it's funny, you just feel like a mermaid. Yeah. You'd be a great mermaid. Can I show an impression? Yes. This is a mermaid. <laughs> and it is. Fair enough. <laughs> and there we have it. That's our first chatty video of the Roaring Twenties. I hope that you enjoyed this. Do leave me a comment with what your intention is for 2020. And then maybe in six months, we can go back to this video and do like a bit of a catch up and see how we're all getting on. Alrighty, leave a friendly comment. I love you lots and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, so good. Do I have to wait? I'll wait for you to say bye, but you should say worse. <laughs> <laughs> Just say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>